first down pumps and then dumps it underneath and has caught it. A big hit on Randall. No gain on the play. And what a big hit it was. That time by Dion Broomfield. Continuing coverage of spring football here on GoSycamores.com. Hopping back over on the defensive side with Dion Broomfield. Coach Broomfield, great to meet you. Welcome to Indiana State. How, what's it like to get through this introductory phase and now just get on the field and start practicing with the guys? You know, it was a lot at first. You know, just you know, anytime you bring a new staff together, there's there's new procedures and new protocols. So uh, going through that for the first month and whatnot was you know it was a little whirlwind. But now we're focused on football. So. It's nice to have spring ball back and, and getting rolling and things. For you, you're one of the young guys on this staff, not too far removed from your playing days. Yep. How has really the transition been for you and the now getting into that coaching role? Uh, it's been a, a pretty easy transition. Um, you know, being a safety, you know, the position that I played, I was kind of a coach on the field, so to speak. So uh, I'm, I've been in a role of, of helping younger guys out throughout my career. So uh, transitioning to coaching is kind of like the next step of, I guess, my career. Uh, in football. You mentioned being a coach on the field back mm -hmm. during your days at Iowa State. Did you know that this was probably going to be something down the pipe that would come your way? And if so, why? Um, I would say probably toward the end of my career, part of my senior year, uh, you know, I would find myself coaching up the, the freshmen and the sophomores uh, on Mondays before games and it just kind of felt natural. And I talked with Coach Rose and he kind of, you know, asked me if it would be something I wanted to do and kind of help pave the way for me to uh, get into this profession. So it's just kind of, you know, it's been it's been pretty fun and, and whatnot, but, you know, Coach Rose and Coach Troy Douglas, those were kind of the pivotal guys that kind of introduced me to the profession. From your days at Iowa State, still remember the big upset over Oklahoma State yeah. as well. You had a lot of great memories during your time there with the Cyclones. What, what really, during your time as a player, helped mold you into a coach and now as you continue to step into this role here in Terre Haute? Um, you know, like I said earlier, probably just being under great coaches. You know, Coach Wally Burnham was our defensive coordinator. Um, I was under uh, three different position coaches, uh, Bob Elliott, uh, Troy Douglas, Chris Ash, um, you know, Coach Rhodes, you know. So having all those guys, just great defensive minds, you know, just being able to soak under them for, you know, four or five years, it was awesome. So just learning from them and, and just making it fun. And it was just, they seemed like they enjoyed their job and, and kind of just told me throughout the whole way that, you know, it was something that, that they think I would, you know, be successful at. And so I'm, I'm here chasing that dream now. Being in the Valley, how much did you know about the Valley really, really prior to beginning here to Indiana State? Um, I was pretty familiar. Uh, so at Iowa State, we'd always used to play against you uh, and I. Uh, and, and, you know, they actually beat us my senior year when they had David Johnson. So, uh, you know, I was very familiar that this was a very competitive league. Um, and then my last previous stop at uh, Western Illinois, uh, you know, just a, just a competitive league. You know, this is the, the SEC, say, of, of F FCS football. So um, really, really familiar with this league. And that's why I actually meant to tell you when we started this off, it's good to see you in Sycamore Blue and White, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving, <laughs> loving it, and, you know, being here. So it's, uh, it's, been, it's been awesome since I've been here and looking forward to great things to come. Your group in the secondary, what do you like about them and what you've been learning about them so far in spring ball? Um, a very athletic group that I have. Um, you know, they'll be able to do some things that we're going to ask um, of them, you know, playing man coverage and being able to, you know, to mirror guys and stay in front of them. And, you know, that's what we're going to be asked to do. And, and I think we'll, we'll be able to do that just with some of the skill sets that they have of being so athletic and, and you know, being able to run. But they're just a competitive bunch that, that loves to learn. And, you know, they're, they're in my back pocket, you know, during practice. And, you know, so it's, it's, been, a, it's been a great transition of coming in and kind of establishing, you know, a new culture. Um, so they're they're very willing to learn. So that's been great. I know it's early, but for you right now, being surrounded by the staff you are, the players you are, why is this a place that can be successful in the valley and build that championship culture? Well, it's just like you say. It starts with with the staff and the culture that we're putting, you know, forth for the players, and the players are buying in. And once you have that established of the culture, I think that's just the the foundation of of how to win a championship. It's, how you attack the day each day, you know, um, just having a championship mindset outside of football. You know, are you on time to your classes? Are you on time to your tutors? You know, um, th that type of stuff is what we're, we're really trying to emphasize and doing the right things, you know, that take no talent whatsoever. Uh, so that's the biggest thing that, that Coach Mallory has really been, been harping on is doing the things with, that takes no talent. So once we really understand as a, as a team, I think it is, you know, no, no, no limits to what we can achieve here. I know one of the big things you guys try to do is create competition right now in spring ball. 
Who would win one on one, you or Roy Roundtree? Oh man, I'm taking myself any day. <laughs> <laughs> any day, man. Any I, I day. think we need to set that up at some point in we time. Can, we tell, we can set it up. I, I still got some cleats left over, so uh, we can set that up. <laughs> We're going to have to do that. Dion Broomfield, great to meet you. Thanks so much for coming. Yep, no problem. Once again, that was Dion Broomfield. For more on the Sycamore coaching staff, stay locked in. Here to go, sycamores.com.